Now there's Jonathan here, DJ Puff the third, back at my Surrey Victorian bottle dump and came back. Wasn't really much I could do really. We couldn't really access much ash at all, just the overhang was far too deep and it eventually I was chipping around the edges but there won't be anything at the top and it just kept collapsing and collapsing and collapsing and just keep collapsing and now there must be at least four tons of dirt in the hole which means this dump is basically out of access to me now because I don't have the health I don't have the strength from the fitness to and with all the crap that's above me and I'm too tall anyway I'd never be able to move around no strength to drag anything out of the hole so that's pretty much me done on this site because I just can't access the ash anymore and it's still collapsing <laughs> it hasn't stopped it's just little bits and probably had the biggest shift of dirt I've ever had on a bottle dump basically and I had to get out of the way a bit quick it's just that the ash layer is so thin, it's about a foot, two foot. That is it, that's all I'm chasing. I mean, there could be more on the site, it could be deeper, but I don't have the energy to do the basics. And that's why Red Robin was always so good for me, because it was only one, two foot under the surface. It was all in mini tips, and it was just piss easy accessible for me. A tip like this, unless someone's already done all the work for me, <laughs> I'm out of luck, completely out of luck. But I did make a few finds before it all collapsed, <laughs> it's still doing it. And um, of course nothing particularly special, but there's a nice inkwell, so we'll have a look at that. As you can see, this is the hole now. And there must be at least four tons of dirt in here now. There's no way I'll ever move that. But anyway, I did find a few more bits. <coughs> Basically, a Victorian HP source. And if I've got the one from South Norwood, where there was the school, and the school got demolished and they uncovered a 1890s tip in an 1880s brick field that's probably the same age or similar age to the one I found there which means this is either the only one or the second Victorian HP source that I've got and it's good and rough still a good score and there was this which was in one of the pillars that I ended up collapsing which didn't help but I had to get it out salt glazed powder pot little one and I reuse these quite often to put my washing up powder in because I'm sick of the cardboard boxes just getting wet and the powder going hard there's another little probably a Parsons, Andersons, Andersons, Parsons. I've no idea, but that's probably what it is. It's smaller. That is literally a diddy bottle. That's smaller than the last one. And there's this, which is about as diddy a little white glazed pot you could ever get. It is minuscule. Literally, it is bloody minuscule. Look at the size of that. That is. That's just almost invisible to hold in the hand isn't it really another tabloid boroughs and welcomes tabloid bw and co boroughs and welcome ground top screw cap tabloid and the find of the day Penrest inkwell, sheer top penrest inkwell, corrugated sides. One, two, three corrugated sides and label on this end. Yeah. 
and it's in is there a crack in it I don't know I don't know if there's a crack in it it doesn't look like it that look fantastic once it's cleaned up and I was hoping to find an inkwell today I do like the inkwells <clears throat> I do paint them up like it's still going it's still collapsing <laughs> I do. I have painted them up to look like houses in the past, but this is probably the only one I've got. If I've got a second one, I might consider painting it, but we'll have to see. So it wasn't completely fruitless, even though I'll never, ever <laughs> get into that ash layer again. <sighs> and considering it's a foot, two foot, I've never found any beers and no cords, no Hamiltons. I found one ginger beer, a local Croydon ginger beer. That was it. But I found a few bits and that will go with the stuff I found the other day. I mean, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. But then I'm very easily pleased. HP source. Powder pot. Anderson's Parsons, Burrows and Welcome. <laughs> Minuscule white glazed pot and what they call a cottage ink. It's not necessarily the cottage one, it's corrugated, but I'm glad I found that. That is just what I was after. Just what I was after. So yeah, DJ's pretty chuffed, clocks will be going wherever they want to go soon, <laughs> so it's going to be getting even darker. So I should imagine this is probably, <sighs> may well be the last dig of the year, I mean if it keeps pissing and rain. That ain't going to help. But Red Robin's out of the question now. We've had so much rain. It's so shallow. And the geology there, it's already going to be flooded. That's why I came here, because I knew that I might be able to find something. <sighs> but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to shift four tons of spoil. <laughs> no way. So, yeah, that's that's the end of this I don't know we'll have to see maybe behind me if I ever get my energy back but for now that's me done here which is a bit of a shame because anyway I did find the top of a beer top of a smashed brown beer up there you can just see the, the top of a beer but that's I'm afraid all I found <laughs> yeah that was it I'm afraid well thanks for joining me I did make a few more finds I'm I'm pretty happy with what I got there's not a massive amount and nothing special special but that ink world certainly made my day the hp bottle is an old one a rough one nice color to it common as muck but it's an old one and i'm pretty happy with that and the the little glazed powder or blacking pot they're always nice to find when you clean them up they're nice and i do reuse them for stuff Anyway, so thanks for joining me for my only Surrey bottle dump <laughs> as to whether I managed to get into it again, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.